So you want to take the plunge and you want to upgrade your Windows 10 machine to Windows 11. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, um, obviously, as it's entitled. So, I'd, as always, I'd recommend that you take a backup before your machine before doing this. Um, the upgrade does have the option to keep your files and folders in your applications, but things happen. So just make sure you've got a backup of anything important that you need. Um, also, if you're running it on, if you're going to do this on unsupported hardware, uh, I'll create a shortcut on the desktop showing you the parameters that you need to add to the end of the target string to so you can do this on unsupported hardware. If you're doing it on supported hardware, then obviously you don't need the additional parameters. Um, let's dive right in. Sheridan Computers, IT, Communications, Support. Before we go ahead and we um, install Windows 11, I suggest that you make sure Windows 10 is fully up to date. So in order to do that, uh, if we click right click on the system menu down here, on the start menu, sorry, and then select system, it pops up with about your PC and stuff like that. Um, let me just expand that a bit. Now, under the Windows specifications here, you see it says Windows 10 Pro and we're on version 22H2, which is the latest version of Windows 10 at the moment. So we are on the latest version. Now, in addition to um, making sure that we're on Windows 22H2, uh, also check that you've got the latest updates installed. So if we type updates in the search box here, and then we'll check for updates. We have this button here, check for updates. We can ignore this um, check hardware requirements to get your Windows, uh, get ready for Windows 11. Um, this PC is definitely not compatible because it's a virtual machine. So check for updates to make sure that you've got no updates left. So this computer is fully up to date and we've got no updates left to do. So the next thing that we need to do is head over and get the Windows 11 ISO. If you already have the ISO, um, this video will have timestamps below. So if you've got the ISO, you can skip this bit, um, but we're gonna go ahead and grab it. So if you do have it, just skip this part of the video and then head across to the next part, which is instant, uh, doing the upgrade. So I'm gonna open a browser and I'm just gonna, type in download Windows 11. So download Windows 11. The first result that we get is the Microsoft one. So make sure you're getting it from Microsoft. We, we have various options available to us. We have the Windows 11 Assistant. We've got great uh, Windows 11 installation media. Now the one that we want is this download Windows 11 disk image ISO. So from here, select download and then select multi edition ISO and then hit download. Um, once you've chose that, the next thing you need to do is select your language. So I'm going to choose English international for myself and then go ahead and confirm. Now, if you get this error message, um, how do I get around that? Your band. Right, okay. Um, if you get this error message, uh, go into your control panel. This is to do with your DNS servers. So I'm gonna change this to small icons here, under category, and I'm gonna to go to network sharing and connection center. I think it's because I'm using quad nine um, for DNS servers. So what we're gonna do is select change adapter settings from over here. And then when your network adapter appears, you wanna right click on that, and then you just wanna select properties. 
So when your Ethernet properties disappears, um, you can see Internet Protocol TCP IP version 4. So we're going to select that, and then we're going to select properties. Now this part here for the DNS server, uh, I'm just going to tick that, and I'm going to use 8.8.8.8. And I'm going to OK that. So 8.8.8.8 .8 is Google, so we should know not to have an issue. Um, so OK that. And then we'll try this again. So I'm just going to go up here, I'm just going to hit enter. I'm going to go back down to download Windows 11 ISO. And click download uh, again I'm going to choose English International and then I'm going to go ahead and click confirm so if you get that error repair that's the way around it um, it happens all the time to me when I'm using quad 9 so um, you can verify the download if you want if you hit that It'll give you a list of hashes. Uh, I'm getting it directly from Microsoft, so I'm just going to go ahead and click this 64-bit download. And now the ISO has started to download, as you can see up here. So we need to wait for that to download. And then once it has, we can continue to the upgrade section. So this download is 6.3 gig. So obviously make sure that you have enough space on your hard drive. You should have if you're doing a Windows 11 upgrade because obviously you want to make sure you've got plenty of space to do the upgrade. Okay, that's downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the File Explorer icon on the bottom here. And I'm just going to go into Downloads. Now we have our ISO here, so we need to right click it and select mount and then open it. So this has mounted our ISO. So you can see it's on drive E. So there's a couple of ways we can run it, but the easiest way is literally to grab it with the right mouse. Get off. Grab the setup with the right mouse. Just throw it on your desktop and do create shortcut here. Right click on the shortcut and then go to properties. So when this opens, I'm gonna enclose that in quotes. And then I'm just gonna do put forward slash product and then server. So once you've done that, apply it. Okay, so now we've got this setup shortcut on our desktop and we can just double click it. This will appear. Click yes. And I'll start preparing. So now you'll notice is that because we put forward slash product server at the end of it as um, argument, it thinks it's installing Windows Server. It's actually not, it's just going to install Windows 11. So go ahead, make sure this is not ticked, we don't want to send the information off. Go ahead and click next. It'll check for updates, which we've already done that. So. So we're getting things ready, we just need to pretty much wait at this stage. Um, accept the end user license agreement. And we get the options that we want. So keep personal files only, keep file settings and applications, or keep nothing. So we're going to keep file settings and applications. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to select next. Now I'll check for installer updates. So make sure you're ready to install. 
Okay, so you're not going to be able to use your computer during installation. Um, so I'll save any work that you're doing at the moment. Close your files. We're ready to install. It's showing that it's going to install Windows 11 Pro in my case. Now, it's obviously going to install the version of Windows that you've got on your machine. So if you've got Windows 10 Home, it's going to install Windows 11 Home. Um, so we've got the summary of what it's going to do. You can change what to keep. Um, but we've got keep file setting and apps. Um, we don't really need to bother about what we change, what to keep here. If you're curious about what that does, it's the same options that it was previously. So keep files, settings and apps, just your files or nothing. So generally you're gonna want your files, settings and your apps. Otherwise you'll have to reinstall the apps. So if you do that, it'll start checking for updates again. Pretty much just restarts that process. So we can go ahead and just um, click on this install button. Now as I say, it says installing Windows Server. It's not to install Windows Server, it is installing Windows 11. Um, as Windows Server doesn't have requirements that way, using the forward slash product space server um, basically does the install without any of the requirements. Okay, so the uh, initial setup's run, so PC will start in a few moments. So I'm running this on a VM, so I just had to resize the window. More updates. These ones are actually going a lot faster than the previous set. Well, here, if you're finding this video useful, please uh, hit that like button. Consider, consider subscribing. Because what might be a 10 minute video to you has been about two hours for me so far. I take it back, it's not going any faster than the previous boot. <laughs> Another reboot. I'm getting good at this waiting. Okay, we have some kind of action. Go ahead and try and log back in again. Unlikely to unplug it now after all this time. The better I'd be after all this time. You at least owe me a like for this. Okay, and now we seem to have Windows 11 installed. Stay with me, don't um, go anywhere just yet. So, um, now we've got Windows 11 installed. The first thing that you're gonna want to do is obviously check your documents there. Uh, but we're gonna click, we don't need to click start, it's already open. So I'm gonna click on here. And I'm gonna type in update. And you can see we have check for updates. So we're gonna wanna check for updates to make sure that Windows 11 is up to date on it updates the drivers and stuff as needed. Uh, it does say you're up to date, but we're going to go ahead and click up check updates anyway, because I don't believe it. So, we wasn't up to date. So, um, once you've installed Windows 11, literally just keep um, clicking check for updates until basically there's no updates left. Because um, it will update any, say, any drivers and things that are required for your machine. Um, it will download a couple of extra updates. We're getting, was it 23H2 updates here? 
Okay, so you don't need me to um, wait here and show you how to keep clicking on the check updates and reboot your machine when there's no updates left. The other thing that you're going to want to check though, um, we need to make sure that all the drivers are installed properly and that we've got no exclamation marks in the device manager. So in order to do that, again, where your start menu is, right click it, and then head up to this option here, device manager. When your device manager appears, um, you just want to make sure that there's no exclamation marks here. If there is, they'll generally be expanded and they'll have a yellow exclamation mark showing that there's an issue with one of your devices. So as I keep running Windows updates until they've all disappeared pretty much, I'll just keep running Windows updates until Windows is up to date. Um, and then if you are missing any drivers, you're going to have to obviously find them to install them. But that's Windows 11 installed. So as always, if you found the video useful, please hit the like button. Um, helps other people find the video. Consider subscribing to the channel. You might find some other, other uh, start again. You might find some other videos that you like. Um, hit the notifications icon to get any notifications. Um, and say I do appreciate the like. I'll leave a link in a minute to some more videos that you might find interesting. But this video has taken about two or three hours to go through and demo how to do. So do appreciate the support for the channel. I'll see you in the next video.